Hello, this is Dr. Jay Wagoner, and uh, again, this is the video series, Expository Preaching Simplified, and we have come to the last of our videos. This one uh, is about being dedicated, being dedicated to the process of being an expository preacher. There's an old joke about a man with a musical instrument in hand that asks another man on a New York street, how do you get to Carnegie Hall? Whereupon the man answers, practice, practice, practice. In like manner, a man becomes a good expository preacher, nothing short of a lifetime dedication to the art of expository preaching will make a good expositor. Expository preaching is not the easiest of ways to prepare and deliver sermons. In fact, any other way is probably easier and less time-consuming. So why preach expository sermons? The average pastor is constantly overwhelmed with responsibilities and pressed for time. A little imagination and a simple topical sermon goes a long way toward conserving time. However, time constraints, in my opinion, are never a valid excuse for failing to consistently and effectively feed the flock of God. Preaching and preaching well should be every pastor's top priority. It is the foundation of every other aspect of your pastoral ministry. Although expository preaching is not the easiest path to follow, as we just mentioned, it is highly worthwhile. I've been preaching expository sermons for over 40 years, and there are three aspects of doing it that stand out in my mind. Number one, if you dedicate yourself to using the expository message or the, I should say the expository method, you will become a better expositor. Albert Einstein once said, if a person studies a subject for 15 minutes a day, in a year he will become an expert, and in five years he will become a national expert. Yeah, stick with it. Number two, preaching expository sermons will get easier over time. It won't be quite the struggle that it was when you began. Word studies done years ago will find use over and over as the years pass. You will use the same theological explanations over and over. Biblical history and geography will become ingrained. You will find that illustrations, even illustrations used previously, will be useful again. Moreover, you will just become more adept at what you do because you have done it for so long. Finally, you will truly feed the sheep, the flock of God. Doors will open to you because the sheep know when they have been fed and they will desire more of the same. Be it a pulpit committee you're standing before or a congregation hearing you preach for the first time, they will know you have something good to offer, something they need. Uh, you will likely never hear it said that you were boring or you will not likely never hear it said that you were over people's heads. True expositors can and do effectively preach the word. When others hear you preach, that will be evident. And if you effectively preach the word of God, those who sit under your ministry will overlook a multitude of other weaknesses and deficiencies. So in conclusion, and this is the conclusion to the whole series, in conclusion, here's what I need to say to you. Dedicate yourself. Dedicate yourself to the discipline of expository preaching. Preach expository sermons year in, year out. Do not stray from the course, and you will never regret it. Thank you. It's been my joy to be with you over these 14 sessions. And I hope that what you have heard here on this series, Expository Preaching Simplified, will be a help and a blessing. By the way, I just uh, published the text that I have shared with you in these videos on Kindle Direct. It's on Amazon now. It's an e-book, and it's available if you'd like to have everything I said in written form. Uh, just go to Amazon and uh, search my name. It'll be the first initial R, the middle name J, J-A-Y, and my last name, which is W-A, two G's, O-N-E-R. God bless you. It's been great to be with you.